What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a super simple method on how to draw Mega Charizard X the proper way. So let's grab some paper and something to draw with and let's get started. Now we're gonna be drawing this character from the side. So let's start on the bottom right side of our page with the eye. So we start down here with a curve, going up above the eyelid and then bending that out towards the left. Let's go back to the bottom. We're just gonna curl up the brow. We're gonna step over, bend this out, go around and then up. Now going up to the top of the eyelid, we're going to step in to create an overlap. It's going to round up the side of the eye, and then bend that in. From the bottom, let's step over, curve the eye coming down, and then up. I'm going to push the iris and pupil towards the right side. So let's start halfway along the top of the eyelid, curve this down, come around, and then in. And then in the center, draw a small half oval. Now from the bottom of the brow, we're going to step over towards the right and add a smaller curve going out and then up. Move over, curve the side of the head going out and then up. Let's round up the head. We're going to go up and then bend that in. Let's move back down and draw the top edge of the muzzle. We're going to step over, curve this down and then cross. And we'll tuck the back side of the nose in behind. Stepping up, and this up and out down and then bend that in. Now you want to pull this down towards the point. Coming down towards the left, right about there. And I'll draw the top edge of the mouth. We go up and then bend that out. Now you want to draw the top edge of the flame going across the head. Let's start down here. I'm just going to bend this up towards the eye. So then draw a wave going around. Let's go back up. Go out. I'm just going to work our way out towards the tip and then just bend that up. And let's work our way down across the bottom of the flame. Start from the tip, come around, and then in. Now I just want to swirl this around and go up. Just come down and in, come down, and then in. Let's add one more point, come around and up. I just want to work our way over towards the top edge of the mouth. Come down, go up, then one more curve. Coming down and up underneath the mouth. Let's add some small bits of flames. We start over on the left, and it's out, and then in. Come down, in, and then back down. Let's add a smaller one along the top. And just around that point, come all the way back down towards the bottom. Now let's draw on the front nostril. We start up here, and this up and over, across and then down. Now along the bottom side of the nostril, going up and then out. Let's lock the nostril over on the right, add a shorter curve. Now along the top of the mouth, let's add one fang. We come down and in, and bend that back up. And then we're going to open up the jaw. We'll start underneath the flame, then just in and then down. Let's round up the mouth and just pull that back up. Let's work our way across the bottom of the jaw. It's going to taper this so it gets wider and then come back up. Round up the jaw, go up and then bend that out. Let's add two fangs along the bottom, starting on the left, going out and up. Bring that back down, and then from the tip of the mouth, draw that again. Now you want to layer the tongue on the inside. Start from the inside edge of the mouth, then it's out, and then down. Let's round up the tongue, go up underneath that top fang, and continue on the inside. Now you want to close off the back of the mouth. Start from the tooth, then it's in and up underneath the tongue. Now we want to go back up to the top and draw on that first horn. It's just going to line up with this angle, going all the way out towards the side of the head. Let's bend the horn, going out and then up. Let's round up the tip of the horn. That's going to taper this so it gets wider as you come back in, and then we'll bend that down. Let's go back to the base of the horn, add a curve, going up and out. Come in, and then bend that out in behind the flame. 
And I'm gonna leave a gap along the top of the head and continue this curve over towards the left. Just going in behind the horn. And then along the top of the head, add the back horn, going out, and then up. Round up the horn, come down, and then just bend that in. Let's separate the tip of each horn with a curve. Now from the chin, we want to curve the neck going in behind the flame and continuing on the left. So we go out and then bring that down. Let's move up and draw that same curve with a trim. Let's go all the way up to the top and add that same curve to the top of the neck going in behind the flame. Now with the head in place, let's continue that fire in behind the back. We start from the top, and it's out, and then in behind the brow. Let's go to the top of the head, going up, and just tucking that in behind that horn. Let's continue on the left side of the horn, then this across, up, and then over towards the left. Now you want to work away along the left side of the flame. Going around, and then down. That a curl going up, and I will just tuck this in behind the top of the head, and then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's a portrait illustration of Mega Charizard X. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.